Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Blevin-Smith with Integral Clinic Solutions and you're watching my YouTube channel, Navigating the Business of Medicine. Today I want to talk about supply purchasing and I know this might seem boring, mundane, or even thinking why waste your time on doing a video on this, but to be honest with you, supplies are a huge overhead for most practices and finding the best purchasing power and also prices is only in your benefit. There are a handful of medical supply distributors that practices use and they are McKesson, Henry Schein, Amerisource Burgeon, Cardinal Health, and Medline. Not all of them offer everything, and some of them have special niches, but those are ones that you definitely want to explore. You want to find out if you get an account what would be cheaper to purchase at the different locations. And yes, you don't want to have too many places that you're ordering supplies from, but at the same time, you want to get the best bang for your buck. So if it's worth having a McKesson and a Henry Shine account and only ordering specific things from each vendor, then that's perfect. Also consider joining a GPO. Uh, group purchasing organization and usually these are companies that have brought small entities together and it helps leverage your buying power and putting you in as a group instead of pricing you out as an individual small practice. Sometimes it costs to join these GPOs and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it's not worth it in everything that you order, but maybe some of your bigger things like an EKG, autoclave, those types of things, maybe it would be in your best benefit. A lot of the GPOs also partner with certain distributors. So I know that the one that I've worked with recently partners with McKesson. So they give the best pricing through McKesson or McKesson gives the best pricing through them and you join that GPO in order to benefit from that. Do your research, definitely make sure that you're calling, talking to reps, asking the right questions, such as how often do your prices go up? Do you give discounts on certain amount of order quantities? So if you order over a certain number, does your cost go down because you get a discount? Do you have a service delivery charge? Do you have a returning charge? If you over order or get something wrong and you have to return it, do they charge you to return it? Is there a reshelving fee? Do people hand deliver your supplies or do they ship them to you? How fast can they ship to you? Do you have to pay for the shipping? These are all the things that you wanna look into and find out. If you work in a big metropolitan area, most times things are hand delivered from a driver from that company. But if there isn't something local or warehouse local or you're a little bit more remote, then they probably have to ship them to you. For your office supplies and your toiletry supplies, if you have to supply your own paper towels and soap and toilet paper and all those things that you probably haven't thought about but you need to accommodate in your budget because you do have to pay for that if you don't have a service or a building that offers that, then you definitely want to make sure that you're shopping around for those as well. Sometimes Office Depot or Staples has a business plan that you can become part of. Amazon has their business accounts where you get discounts on a lot of things. And honestly, finding some things at Costco can be cheaper than anywhere else. Sometimes with copy paper, it can be a toss up between Costco or Staples and sometimes Amazon. But you know, some of those things, the prices fluctuate so frequently that you kind of have to know your sources to go to. And before you order, you check all of them to find where you'll get the cheapest price. You will also have to consider if there's shipping charges or if you get free shipping and all of that as well in the total amount. So definitely make sure that you have someone that's going to be purchasing for you that knows what they're doing or if you're going to be learning as you go, think about shipping costs as far as total costs and how soon you can get things because if you're going to be out of toilet paper tomorrow and you order from Costco because it's free shipping and it's cheaper but it won't arrive until next week that might not be the best situation unless you're willing to run to the grocery store or the local store and grab some toilet paper to cover you until the shipment arrives. 
Supplies are easy to over order and they can add up really quick. So you wanna make sure you have a really tight, firm grasp on where you're ordering, about how much in your budget you're allocating to different supplies, such as front office supplies, business supplies, and your back office medical supplies. So make sure you have that tight and pinned down and it might take a while to really figure out how much you're using after you've opened and start operating and get to capacity with patients, but keep a tight look on that. Also, we're gonna talk about doing inventory properly and that will be a different video, but first you have to find out where you're gonna order, why you're gonna order from them, and who's gonna do the ordering in your practice. Is it gonna be you all the time? Are you gonna pass it off to someone else after you train them? Or are you just gonna start off with someone doing it from the get-go and you sit down and you put boundaries in place? Also, if you create online ordering accounts such as through Amazon Business and McKesson and Staples, do you want to review those orders before they're placed or do you trust the person making the order to place it without your review? A lot of times it's smart, especially with the higher cost items, to at least put an eye on it and make sure that it's not being ordered too much, you're not under ordering, things are being ordered correctly. And then once you guys kind of get down what you commonly will order, you'll have a queue in those platforms that you can say order again, order again, add this to my favorites, and that will be really easy. But until you get that established, I would encourage you to make sure that you're putting an eye on those things, you're approving it before it goes Goes through especially with a tight budget and wanting to make sure that you're not over ordering and that you're not ordering the wrong things. I would definitely also put very strict guidelines in with your staff on what you're going to be using and why and that will help with the inventory but also with the ordering. If you have any suggestions or tips on this, please leave it in the comments below. If you feel this was a helpful video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope this content is helpful and please share it with your friends and family and your colleagues, especially if they're in the medical field. Thank you for the support and have a wonderful day.